Hello everyone. So in the first video I did, I did a six magic build that I realize now is, you know, kind of complicated. So I wanted to go ahead and put out um, a video of, I guess you could say one of the most basic builds, um, actually a build that I started out with, and that is just dragon altar and two fighters as I like to call it, because that's all you need to add is two fighters at the end. But it's, you know, it's a very easy build and um, it's also very consistent. What I mean by that is you can use this every game and you'll do decent. Um, even if there are other people building Dragon Altar, because the heroes you need are, you know, so cheap and you make, um, make your base formation, I guess you could say, of heroes at the start, it doesn't really affect you too much if other people are building it because at, at the end you'll all have about the same outcome um and it's just yeah just a really strong build so i thought i would give a full uh full commentary and guide and looks like the screen is switched up it's bad. um yeah i want to give a full full guide on this build um since the man who can it, it was one of my like i said one of my start starting somewhere builds and i'm just really comfortable with it and pretty much every time i use this um you know I'll either win or be i guess top three but usually usually it's a w um so the most important part of this build is going to be your gold management which, which is very which is really the most important part of every build just getting to 20 gold and staying over it but especially with this build, it's it's um, very good to get there at the start as fast as you can um, because you want to start leveling up these heroes as soon as possible. Um, I recommend Ragnar with every build, but with this build especially um, because uh, I love to I love to risk hit points and. For items, that's just how I play now, and that's how I've implemented it into my play style. Master and Rooney, you can see here that there was a Tigreal and a uh, Changung, or Change I like to call, that was was in the shop, but I decided not, not to purchase them because I wanted to stay at my 10 gold or get my interest. And now, now I have Diggy and Chow, which I always try to get in any lineup at the start. Um, and I will actually keep them for quite a long time, you'll see, just to keep that gold going. Because um, basically, you know, you are competing against eight other players and gold is a huge factor. It's not just all about builds. It's about uh, maintaining your gold and making sure that you, you can build more heroes than they can, you know, higher stars and eventually spread out. And one of the main things that's... I guess so good about this build is you'll see later on is that Come I even have room for for other heroes. Um, and if you get a dragon altar rune early on, which I don't think I got one too early on in this game, um, it just makes it even easier to build. So at the starting rounds, of course, I always uh, don't want to have all my heroes out there. I want to be able to get that first item at the fate box or at least be one of the top people to get it. So I go ahead and let myself get hit for some hit points. Um, knowing that I have Ragnar there. Uh, when you're under 25 hit points, he will heal you for eight hit points every round. So that means uh, if you're late game and you know, you're in a fight with somebody and it goes down to one hero, like they're not gonna be able to knock you out because he he'll he will heal you. Okay, so it looks like there wasn't too too many options here, so I just went with uh some direct damage, to give my heroes a little more uh power because this is kind of a tanky build. And it's not not as much as like a fighter build where you wanna buy all defense items because you're already gonna be super tanky and you need to get some damage in there. So now that I'm over 20, 20 gold, I can start looking for um, my Thane and my Baxia because those are gonna be your two core heroes in this build. They're gonna give you that shield effect and just make, make your team so much stronger. So you always wanna be looking out for them. 
Uh, I usually wait till I'm over 20 gold before I get them just because they are more expensive. Um, first, you know, the one gold heroes, and the Akai, and uh, I call him Paladin. I'm not <laughs> calling Paladin from AOV days. But, um, so I always try to, if I can, lose up until the first boss round. Like, if no one else is risking hit points, I'll try to keep, keep my loot, loot streak going. As you can see there, I'm getting 13 gold, and this is round, like, four. So just a massive amount of gold coming into my pocket, which gives me, you know, I can start refreshing and look at that. I already almost have a three star. A warrior's duty. Um, I have enough gold to get my thing. You can try to catch me. And now I even take one hero out to make sure that I lose because I have everything at like two star, and I, f I felt like if I put everything in there, I would win. So, um, now, of course, I go against the guy with the 100 hit points, and he he destroys me pretty quick, but uh, that is absolutely fine with me. My intention was to lose that round anyways. And uh, now, now the game pretty much kind of begins. Now this is when I want to start winning. Um, and the thing about lose streaks and win streaks is it'll give you the gold in the boss round too. So not only do I make... 13 gold here but I'm going to make 13 gold in the next round also when I'm just you know fighting the boss so I'm going to go ahead and my place some heroes win. down that way I have That's room my get win. my uh, two core heroes down the uh, Tigreal and the Baxia yeah, to get that man. shield going uh, look at that already a three star um, and that should be about every you know every game with with this setup, you know, as long as you stay over 20 gold and keep refreshing, you're going to get one of those, either the Akai or um, the Paladin. I should probably figure out what his actual name is. Three star. Um, so I always go for the clone over boots. Um, just always that way I can save my clone in case I need it later. Justice! Is to um, heart. Gonna know my so Chang, I like to call her, is two star. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in because she is super good early game. Um, if I see a magic lifesteal, I'm, I'm always grabbing it because it's just so good. Um, especially later if you want to grab a Gato, even I mean, pretty much any build. And him with magic lifesteal is going to do good. Just need to have him two star. And now you can just see that, you know, I'm kind of turned on and, you know, the match really just begins now. So that was all just kind of the, the setup. And that's how you really need to kind of do it with this build and just go ahead and just try to get a three star as soon as possible. Um, and Dragon Altar is, uh, the shield is based off your hit points. So the higher level they are, the more shield they're going to get. Okay. And now I'm looking really good on gold, looking mm. pretty good on heroes. I so I decided to um, go ahead and buy Wan Wan just in case to see much more of them in the shop. Um, usually I'll build the ring over Wan Wan, but it's just, you know, kind of, you don't always get to control the heroes you get. So just grab it. But the main thing here is I got uh, my Thane and my Baxi both level two now. So that shield has a has a big boost and it makes the start of the fight a lot easier and then of course with the altar synergy once they, your heroes start dying the other ones get more health so really uh, very very good build very solid i don't use it as much nowadays just because you know i'm into all these other builds and this is the build i started with so i use this for most of the first season so but it's still uh it's probably one of the most solid builds out there and should be a lot uh, a lot easier to build also especially if you do it this way now you can see that i still have my chow and my diggy in uh because i have i have my three altar synergy going and my tank synergy so there's no reason to take them out just yet because 
I'm still gaining gold. Now that I have a three star and everything level two, um, you can see that instead of you know searching through the shop now, now I'm saving to upgrade my commander because uh, it's just about time. Everything's pretty stable. Time to time to move on. Um, now, depending if if I get really lucky, you know, sometimes I'll try to three star other heroes before I upgrade it even more. But I didn't have really any copies. Of anything else so you know it's just when it's time it's time I guess you can't you can't force too much in this game otherwise you will lose um, so let's see what item do I get here I think uh, I went for the magic box since nobody took it yep get some uh, extra damage to Chang Chang Un or change as I like to call her um, especially since, you know, she's going to be the only magic dealing damage as soon as I take out this diggy, which I believe is right now because I just found my sixth alder hero. And just like that, I mean, it's a very simple swap, one upgrade, swap those two heroes, and now the build is, I mean, basically done at seven heroes, right? Now all you have to do is add your two fighters in. And, you know, that's why... That's why I wanted to get this video out for, you know, anybody who wants to just have a solid build to rank up with. Um, this is, this is definitely it. Um, and you'll see, you'll see the difference right away in the team with six compared to three. You really need six if you're going to do the ultra build, which, uh, as you can see, is very, I mean, pretty easy to do. Oh. Really, the only hit points One I lost day, was the hit I'll points I wanted to at the start. Um, kind of checking out what everybody has there. Now, I think uh, here I was debating whether to get the TIG reels, but usually I'll leave my two tanks at um, level two, maybe level up the Baxia just because he's a two gold hero. Um... That's just one thing I always focus on is my gold. And now I still, you know, I got those. I need to upgrade two more slots to get my fighters in to complete my build. So saving gold here. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this guy was going for here, but he got uh, demolished pretty pretty quick. And I, I think I fixed the uh, the volume issue also on here, so you can hear me more clearly. I think the game volume is you know down a little bit more now. And as time you know time progresses and goes on, I'll get I'll get better at making these videos. And um, you know I plan on having commentary most of the time. The world's gonna know um, my name. Hey, so so as you can see there, I just. Know? Upgrading my uh, commander, so one that I could have the extra slot, but also because I'm looking for um, a new hero, I think Thamos, Thanos, or something like that is his name, um, the fighter, the five gold hero, um, and then I'm also looking for an Argus to get the, the two-star Abyss synergy going just to get a little bit of defense down on them, and then you know, the three three fighters, which really you're just adding two fighters in because you already have one. Now I got lucky here. I got a dragon altar rune, so that makes my build just that much easier. As you can see here, I, I think I just take out this Wayne Wan and I got a link. So I take out the Wayne Wan and the, uh, the monkey. Um, so that way now, now I have... Now everybody uh, in the whole team is uh, healing off the damage they're dealing. And, um, you know, now I have a Ling. You need and an Alter me. Ling with, with uh, a Fighter is right. going to be very, very strong. Now I usually just put in two Fighters until I can find my uh, Abyss. Um, which I think it took me a little bit to find in this match. Go on. 
Yeah, it just opens up so much when you find a uh, dragon altar rune. So I would always say go for it if you're if you're doing this build, because it just lets you have an extra slot and Fine. usually no, you know if I have rune, I'm gonna power. put a Gatto in every time because he's just you know such a good strong hero. Um, and I already have that magic life steal on change that I can just switch over. And it's just really going to make your your build strong. And uh, now I've had no luck uh, finding that five-star gold hero, uh, Thanos, or I'm not sure what his name is. Um, and if you guys can't tell, I'm still uh, not totally uh, familiar with all these heroes yet. I've only played like 300 games in the actual game. Um, I switched over from Marina of Valor and you know just kind of got into chess um so that's what i've been playing um so i'll get i'll try and get these names more down for you i just kind of i have nicknames for all of them anyways um but yeah we're looking steady here um let's see what i do here looks like i'm just gonna wait because i i don't have enough gold to upgrade and keep me over over 20 which is pretty much where I try to stay at a minimum of 20 gold just so I'm always getting that interest and the positioning I have right now is probably the best I usually just leave it like that the whole time because that way everyone's getting you know the tank shield um the paladin and you gotta find out what his actual name is on the, the top left, the only three star. That's a really good spot for him right there because uh, he's not taking all the damage, but he's dealing out a ton. And you can just see how, you know, how tanky these guys are. Now that was kind of sad because that that ruined my that tie ruined my uh, win streak of I don't know how many it was, um, but it enabled me to get that upgrade rune. Now I have one more slot, um, which is super super good. And I was saving gold to upgrade too, so I think I just got a double upgrade right here. Yeah. So I upgraded it there to finish off. I went from eight to ten slots just like that. Um, Isn't my and now I don't have enough money to search for, you know, heroes to put in there. So I'm just putting in some fillers and wait till the next round when I can, you know, search for my heroes I want. Um, usually if I have extra room like that, I'll just throw in one here on the side and hopefully he dies quick and it, it'll start procking off the dragon altar. Um, you can just see their sure takiness versus uh, six mage comp level three chain. Uh, so the level one Ling is just our just a beast already, and the the three fighter uh, really makes a difference, uh, especially for the Ling because when he uses his ultimate, it's gonna right when he crashes down, it's gonna heal him. Okay, so now I'm really looking for, um, I guess I can actually see what his name oh, is, because I think I get him in this round or the next one. Nothing I got the Gato, which is amazing, right? Blades. And another Nothing one right there, because now I'm at 10 capacity, fortune. you're going to start getting those uh, five gold mission. heroes more often. Uh, looks like since we I got a second lean, I, I used my clone that I had been saving on him. Um, and he's just going to be way more powerful. And then as soon as I got him two star, I switched over the items to him. Um, because now, now you're not really scared he's going to die anymore. You can put your items on him. And I'm just distracting for, for, uh, you know, almost cheap build. At least your base at the start is very cheap to get going. 
and then you just need to add on the two fighters and you're good to go right now the gato is just extra and i still have another spot no with that level oh, one uh, chagoon sitting in there now now that i have my gato level two i'm going to switch over my items from uh chagoon to him and put the altar rune on him because it makes him almost unkillable when he has an altar rune and magic life steal because he's going to be getting that shield and life steal. Um, it's this late game. I'm going to go ahead and the paladin doesn't have any items anymore. I'm going to move him to the back. Put the Akai up front. Only the fearless can soar to the heavens. Now I was debating what to get here. But since uh, life steal was only the only item kind of missing from Ling. I went ahead and got that. Thamos. Yeah, this is named Thamos. So I finally got him there to get that uh, Abyss Synergy going uh, in the very last round, you know. <laughs> but it, it is what it is. Uh, I think, you know, the main thing is the Fighter Synergy. You know, you try to try to go for the Abyss, but if you can't get it, you're, you still got your Fighters and you still got those heals. Um, now I'm pretty sure yeah, you're going against... Okay. Looks like this uh, six fighters beat out the six mage. So we're against them. Yeah, just look at the Gatho's shield. You know, you can just put him right in the front line. He's going to proc right on him. And he's still going to live the whole round. And, I mean, it wasn't even, wasn't even close, really. And that wraps it up, and that's, that's really almost every time I do this build, it kind of looks like that. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy, and, you know, please try it out. Um, yeah, thank you.